In this video series, we're going to look at how you can build a perfected style sheet that will help enforce your house style. You can build a different style sheet for every style that you work with, and you can share the style with colleagues so that everyone in your organization can benefit from them. But first off, if you've never used Perfected before, you don't need to watch any of these videos to start improving your documents. More than 80% of Perfected's checking doesn't require any customization. These tutorials are just for people who want to go that extra step and build a style sheet. So just quickly, for those that haven't used Perfected's checking before, here's how easy it is to get started. First, click to launch Perfected, then click Perfected's big start button. Perfected scans the document and looks for errors. For example, here it's found an inconsistency between the word cooperation with and without a hyphen. So now, for those of you who do want to use Perfected to check your specific house style and want to customize Perfected, let's start with something simple. First off, what is a style sheet? Well, Perfected comes with a set of built-in styles, and you can see the selection of styles here. Let's start by choosing US spelling. Each style sheet consists of hundreds or even thousands of preferences, so you can use a style sheet to enforce a house style. For example, these are the preferences built into the US spelling style sheet. You can see that the list consists of hundreds of checks that Perfected will run simultaneously to enforce this style. But the great thing about style sheets is that you can build your own. Click Manage Styles, then let's add a new style by clicking the New button. Give the style sheet a name, in this case we'll call it New House Style, and choose OK. If we edit that style sheet, you can see it's a new style with no built-in preferences yet. But rather than starting from scratch, a great way to get started with your own style is to make use of an existing one. This time, let's do a new style based on US spelling. To do that, select US spelling, and then click the export button. Let's allow other users to edit the style on their computer, and then save that file to any location on your hard drive. Click Import, find the file that we saved, and then give that a new name. In this case, let's call it US House Style, and then click OK. Now let's look at that new style. As you can see, we've now got a completely new style sheet, but with hundreds of preferences already built in. That style sheet is ready to use, so we can start using it on documents straight away. As you can see, it now finds US spelling preferences. However, in the rest of this tutorial, we'll show you a few easy steps to improve the power of this new style sheet and enhance the checking of your house style. 